Welcome, Welcome to, to Eater's, Eater's Block. Block. I'm Kim. I'm Vicki. Eater's Block is the condition of not knowing what to eat or how to proceed with eating. Here's some inspiration for your next meal. Today we'll be making mansail, which is a Vietnamese crepe, and it literally translates to sizzling pancake. Let's, Let's get started! So for the batter, we are going to start with the pre-mixed flour. You can actually just put this all together yourself, but um, the package is nice because it includes everything you need, which is basically just the flour and the turmeric. Mm -hmm. So if you're lazy or if you just don't have time to measure out, it's already done for you. And then next we'll add two cups of cold water. First and then we can go ahead and add one cup of coconut milk. I like to add um, at least one teaspoon of salt. Once you get a good consistency, go ahead and add one cup of beer. We're using that nice fine Rani. <laughs> we like to use beer because it gives the crepe a very crunchy, crispy consistency. Yeah, this is different than like a French crepe because you want to get it as crispy as you can. Mm -hmm. um, that's just ideal. We can go ahead and add as much green onion as you like. I'll say that's like a fourth of a cup. Okay, so once we're done mixing, we have to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes? For at least 30 minutes. It, um, it lets the cornstarch in the batter get to a good settle. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You wanna just, just sit and get cold? Yeah, the colder the batter, the better, because it will make it very crispy when, you, when the cold batter hits the hot pan. So we're gonna put this in the fridge, and while we're waiting, I'll show you guys how to make the <laughs> All right, so now we'll be making the dipping sauce, um, which is nuk mam. Um, some people call it nuk jam, but basically what goes into it is fish sauce. Make sure that you're getting a uh, good fish sauce. I really like the three crab brand. I feel like it's gonna make a major difference. And then some Thai chili peppers, if you like a little bit of heat. If you don't, you can leave it out. It'll still taste the same. And then some garlic, some lime, some sugar, this is just uh, cane sugar, and then some water. So I start off by chopping the garlic. Honestly, this is like the most time consuming part and I hate this part. So you can throw it into a food processor if you want. So just chop up all the garlic. Um, I use probably six cloves. You can use less if you don't really like it or you think it's pungent, but I feel like the more the better. So just go all in with it and then you want to chop it pretty finely the labor of love mm -hmm. okay that's good enough for me so you just <laughs> put it into that bowl and then for a lime I'm just gonna start out with like one full lime for this bowl and then we'll add on if we need to we couldn't find good lime so these ones are like not juicing that well. If you ever notice like your lime doesn't squeeze, you can stick a spoon in there and like twist it. And it idea. gets a lot of juice out. Yeah, I just twist it and it actually helps. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you how to make fish sauce and these tips are gonna change your life. So my mom taught me this trick. Um, with every spoon of fish sauce you add, you add uh, one equal part of sugar and then three spoons of water. So say we're doing four spoons of fish sauce, we're gonna do four spoons of sugar, and then 12 spoons of water. Mama Fan knows though. She knows. Mm -hmm. So I just did Reliable, three spoons. trusted source. <laughs> and then we'll do 12 spoons of the water. So I'm measuring with a foot spoon, but I measured it out and it's actually a tablespoon. And then the chopped chopped Thai chili. I use scissors and Vicky always makes fun of me for it. <laughs> but I just hate chopping on the cutting board and then having to scrape all the seeds. So I use scissors, but feel free to use a knife. Okay, so mix it well and then make sure that the sugar is melted. 
and then you're gonna taste it um, obviously that uh, recipe or the measurements that I told you are kind of like the guidelines that you go off of but you're gonna adjust it to your liking so if you're you like it more sugary or more salty then you can add more fish sauce or sugar to your liking usually I just have to add a little bit more but it's pretty on point Mm. <laughs> I always have Vicky taste I have tell to... me what it needs. Oh my god. I think it's already good, huh? It's bomb. It's already good. It's done. Mama Fan does it again. Mm -hmm. Just call me Nook Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> the proteins we're using today are pork belly and shrimp. Which we've already peeled and deveined. Uh, we got our pork belly from H Mart, and they, you can buy them and they look like bacon strips or you can buy them as a whole piece of meat, but it's actually really convenient for us to just buy them pre-sliced. And they're crispier. And we sell a lot crispier. Some people like to use ground turkey or ground pork, but it's, it's personal preference. Um... I like to cut the strips into one inch pieces. And now the fun part. So you wanna grab your pan, set your stove to medium high heat. And we will start by adding the oil. Getting it nice and hot. Lubricated? Ew. <laughs> uh. That's an interesting cooking term. <laughs> and then we'll take some of that pork belly, like this much, put it in there. You can add more if you like. However much you want. I like to add at least three shrimp. and take your spatula. And now we would we just want to get this all nice and the pork belly nice and crispy. Okay, we are ready to add the batter. So good. So I would say this is like a fourth of a cup. You wanted to take a ladle. Is that good or do you want more? That's perfect. Okay. And you want to run your pan and your batter along the edges because this is what will make it so crispy. We are going to add quail eggs today. It's, like I said, it's personal preference. I learned about quail eggs in Vietnam and I think it's a game changer and I think everyone should try it at least once. They taste and like normal eggs, but just mini and they have more protein. We are going to top this off with the bean sprouts. And as soon as you do that, you want to take your lid and cover it. Cover the pan. You want to wait at least three minutes so the bean sprouts um, get more tender. A few minutes have gone by. You want to take the lid off. Oh, oh my. Look at the edges. What though. you want to do is check the edging. Look for that golden brown crispiness, like just like that. The edges are almost laid. You got to lay your edges. <laughs> so, it looks perfect. What you want to do is go ahead and flip the side with, without the bean sprouts over the bean sprouts. Give it a little tap, 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 tap. Not nab. No nab. I wish you guys could smell this. It looks so good. Oh, I'm hungry. It's beautiful. I'm hungry. I like to move it around so I can absorb all that extra oil that's in the pan to get it even oh more God. crispy. Okay. But the secret is, once you flip that side over, you want to flip it one more time. Okay. Like that. Wow. To get that extra crispy crispiness. That extra crispy. Give it a couple seconds. Okay, you're ready. Your bun is ready. All right, so we are all done. We made two crepes here. And then I'm going to show you the variations of how you can eat it. So I'm going to have it as like a lettuce wrap. 
And then Vicky is gonna have it in a spring roll wrapper. It's very versatile. <laughs> so again, I'm using my preferred tools, <laughs> which is scissors. And I'm just gonna cut it up so that she can roll hers and then so that I can wrap mine. So you guys get a two-in-one video today. It's a food tutorial as well as a mukbang. <laughs> Is it mukbang a mukbang or mukbang? Mukbang or mukbang? Hmm. Let us know in the comments below. Either way. <laughs> okay. Either so way. So she's gonna dip her spring roll wrapper. Um, they come packaged like this. If you haven't seen them before, and then you They're just need to dip them in water. And hot water. Up. Hot water. Very important is hot water because it hydrates them back. And it's it'll natural. get soft fast mm -hmm. So I'm gonna wrap mine in lettuce. I'll do this one. And then we're gonna wait for hers to get all nice and soft. But I like to put a little bit of everything in mine, so pickled veggies. You get a little bit of the sour sweetness. And then I'm gonna put Vietnamese coriander. I almost like just heard it in Vietnamese in my head. In How Vietnamese, do you Vietnamese, it's dao ram. Mm -hmm. Vicky doesn't speak if you don't know, but I'm teaching her. Maybe she'll be fluent by next year. <laughs> so you kind of just put it all in one spot. And then we'll do cucumber too. I like to start with the lettuce for mine. Get a good base. And then I like to add the herbs. For me, I love mint. I probably, oh, I can OD on mint. Mint is delicious. And then all the herbs. Kim's pickled veggies have changed my life. I add this on every single thing I eat nowadays. We'll like make everything. a video on that next because everything. we use it on you're everything. Gonna, you're gonna wanna know how to make her pickled veggies. You're gonna it's gonna change know. your life. A chunk of this. Yum. I'm gonna steal this quail like from this one. Uh, cucumber. An extra one in mine too. <laughs> cucumber. Yeah. And then I will begin to show you how to roll this. You take one edge. You want to take these fingers. <laughs> wrap it this way, and then you kind of just want to like pull it back a little bit. Because the, the rice paper is kind of very like stretchy, elastic yeah. So it has room to give. And then you just slightly give it a little roll. It's up to you if you want to like tuck the ends, the ends in. It's up to you. Keep rolling, keep rolling. So you good. Your ends. So hers is going to be so much more easier to eat. <laughs> it's going to be a mess. I'm not even sure how I'll close this. And then you're going to dip it into this <laughs> fish sauce. Yeah, I'll put another in. I like that. Like a sandwich. And just close it up, you know. <laughs> Do the best you can. This is meant to be messy, <laughs> so. <laughs> so Alright, let's try it. Cheers. I'm excited. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Okay. It might fall apart, that's fine. Okay, listen. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. It's so good. I got a quail egg like my first time. Oh my god, me too. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god. Well, it was a hit, it was a success, just like I knew. Mm. It tastes like my grandma made it. I am your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so, try out <laughs> these recipes. Let us know if you guys like it. Post mm. us in your stories and tag us. And um, mm. don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have anything you want us to make, Mm. Let us know. We'll make it for you next time. Bye. I can't <laughs>